news tonight. UConn researchers are getting to the heart of a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. It's the number one killer for both men and women. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta is here with more on that UConn study. Absolutely. It's great to see everybody in red. Wearing too. our red today. In red for the day. Wonderful. Well, we all know there are certain risk factors for heart disease, and cholesterol is one of them. Now, UConn researchers are taking what they now know about cholesterol levels to help save lives. He is doing some work to work. Dr. Annabelle Rodriguez led the charge in pinpointing a gene that questioned the ability of HDL, the healthy cholesterol number, in protecting against heart disease. More isn't always better. They found high levels of HDL did not always overcome the gene's lack of deficiency. The evidence was first made clear in animal studies, then among men and women. That despite having high levels of the healthy cholesterol fraction in mice, they're prone to heart attacks and the female mice are infertile. We went on to find all those things in humans. In women, a connection to another health issue. In women, particularly, having variations in the gene can cause problems for fertility because cholesterol is really important for making female hormones. While they are studying the infertility issue closely here at UConn Health Center, they are working on drug therapies to address the genetic link of HDL. A drug overseas could be effective. That medication worked in mice really well to restore fertility, to reduce the heart attack risk. The same mice that lack that gene that the we humans also have a problem with. That's good news for Claudia Keene with a family history of heart disease. I have it checked every like three or four months. Watching her cholesterol levels. But it's still not quite where I want it yet. And that's why I'm hoping some weight loss and some exercise will help to bring that down at my next test. But it's what they learn here in the laboratory that could make an even bigger impact. Dr. Rodriguez tells me there is a test now being developed to help predict the risk of a heart attack if a patient carries that genetic variation. It could be available to doctors within a year.